Since 1975, has the United States had a spaceship capable of going thousands of miles into space? But it has one now, and NASA allowed reporters to get a look today. Watch News Dan Billow shows us Orion, a ship that could take people to Mars. The first Orion spacecraft is the result of an $8 billion effort that began in 2004. For the first time since we went to the moon, we're stacking a, a vehicle in this high bay that will allow us to explore beyond our home planet and one day put boots on Mars. The greenish Orion ship, still without its outer covering, sits atop a white service module designed to hold fuel and oxygen to sustain astronauts on long trips. But no one will be on board for its first launch, a test launch on December 4th. The Orion will fly 3,600 miles out into space and then come back. That's farther than any returning ship has gone from Earth in almost 40 years. Well, we've built this so that it can withstand those uh, the incredible temperatures that, that are experienced when it comes back from the lunar velocity. Orion will hit the atmosphere at 20,000 miles an hour. That's more than 2,000 miles an hour faster than a space shuttle. This upcoming test flight will likely be the most important mission for NASA since the last shuttle flight three years ago. And the mission is a bridge, a very slender one, to the day we once again send astronauts on grand voyages of exploration. But that won't be until 2021 when they head for an asteroid. We still don't have the technology or knowledge to survive that trip. I see this vehicle. Why can't we just put humans in it next week? Because it's not ready. NASA is hoping for a big crowd to watch Orion's first launch. That'll be one way of judging how interested the public is in eventually sending people to Mars. At the Kennedy Space Center, Dan Billow, West 2 News.